like I wanna die. I'm pleading here, baby. It's not the end That you'll come on home And try me again You're breaking my I'm missing you, awesome ballad, the Kenny Brown oh, band. Thank you, sir. I'm just getting over it now. <laughs> I'm Mister for so long. I'm just getting just getting over it. <laughs> well, that's a good thing about you singers. You can put it a, a little bit of therapy, or then you got to talk about it or sing about it, or who. You know, I mean, that could be a well. <laughs> then I got to face people that I know who uh, hear it, and they kind of no and uh anyway it's it's what i had to do you know to to get there so oh good stuff you know we have been talking the whole time we're talking he has so much history i could do another show i'd love to about all this stuff we're talking about old school in the 70s ann arbor and everything that's happening even the college days because i did college radio at uw madison and he's talking about the old madison school. yeah weatherman Yes. Probably no one wants to hear about that anymore, but uh, the Weather Underground, Madison, Wisconsin, yes, U of M, Ann Arbor, it was crazy back then. It was, uh, you know, it, those were crazy times. Ann Arbor and Detroit were, I know most people won't believe this, but Detroit was what L.A. or New York became in the eight, 70s and 80s, late 70s and 80s. Detroit in 1970 was the world capital of all this rock and roll music, and it was all going on here. The Jay Giles band basically lived here. And, mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, I remember seeing the very first show of the Edgar Winter Group at a place called the Cinderella Ballroom, and uh, Johnny B. Badanjic played drums, Ronnie Montrose on guitar, 
and uh, what a band. And uh, that all, start, you know, bands would start their first show of a tour in Detroit because they knew that no matter what they threw at them, Detroit would eat it up. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was an exciting time. Those are great names, Ronnie Montrose. You know, those are all the old. Oh yeah. School that, you know that's that's why I like to play like Willie Boy Walker on my show. He's he sings the his blues. You know, for like eight nine minutes, it's just a singing groove. I love all that. You know, like you guys, all that stuff from Betsy that you guys do. Music still lives in the blues. <laughs> should I say? Well, I did a I did a pretty good uh, all residency with the Butler Twins, Mister Bo, uh, Louis Bo Collins, and the Butler Twins, and. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, you know, that was, uh, that was good stuff there. And, uh, you know, when I was with the Butler twins, we had three speeds, slow, slower, and unbelievably slow. And I loved it. I could do that slow blues all night, every night. If, if we had to, that was, uh, that was, uh, we played at a place, the closest thing that you'll get to a juke joint in Detroit. Uh, called the the attic bar and Mm -hmm. uh it was a a mixed crowd and it was uh it was the home of the blues and and seven nights a week there was something going on and uh, johnny yard dog jones little matt collins who was uh uh half brother with with well they weren't really brothers uh, with Lewis, Mr. Bo Collins, they had, they took Mr. Bo in off the street as a little kid, and um, which is something that you hear about in the, in the blues world. And um, oh, a friend of mine, Tony Valentino, uh, all these guys, uh, Baby Boy Warren, uh, Lightning Slim, uh, Lazy Luster. Uh, good stuff. Bobo uh, Jenkins. You can't right. forget Bobo Jenkins. Detroit, Chicago, all that that's Americana right there, the blues and all that good stuff. And it, it's awesome, Kenny Parker, my guest, to bring that alive on the Humagoo to hear it. You know, everybody hear what you were been from and that brings us a little bit to your live shows you got going on. We got a track coming on Hard Times in the Land of Plenty. And, uh, Hard Times in the Land of Plenty was uh, recorded live at the Gem Theater in St. Louis, Michigan, mm-hmm. and um, it's uh, an Omar and the Howlers tune that we did a cover on. It's the only cover on the uh, cover song on the album, and uh, this is uh, Jim McCarty's favorite song. He just loves this song, and uh, when you hear it, you'll see why. He does a tour de force. It's like the Panzers coming in in World War II. When, you know, when you mm-hmm. hear the fear of God, when you hear Jim light it up here on this thing, it's like, oh, my Lord, 73 years old, and he's still doing it. Let's do it, sir. Hard times in a land of plenty. Kenny Parker. Yeah.
did it, did it, did it. Oh, I'm sorry about that, guys. I was just grooving Thank along. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all drive safely on your way yeah. home this evening. I love it, Kenny. I was did it, did it. Hard did times. Wow. Hard times in the land of plenty. How relevant is that? Yeah, we were talking World War Two, World War One. <laughs> the things were chatting on my show in the in the background, should I say? But yeah, the land of well, plenty. that was uh, Jim Jim McCarty on Hard Times in the Land of Plenty is def- definitely doing his uh, George Patton uh, uh, Battle of the Bulge routine there, just t- mowing him down on uh, there. So uh, to use a uh, World War Two metaphor, yeah. We're um, all- we're old school on this and little history buffs and talking about the Panzer tanks and all that stuff we were referring to and, you know, the machine gun and the guitar. Keep that all that good stuff going. Well, that's what I always say uh, when when Jim, he's got a couple pedals that he uses. Uh, and uh, I, I'll often say that uh, the one the one pedal Jim, Jim will hit, I, I say, well, here come the Panzers because... Uh, <laughs> It's frightening when he does that because you know that he's he's got a sixth and seventh gear that uh, is uh, pretty pretty rare amongst guitar players. And when he gets that sixth or seventh gear going, all you can do is like go running for the bushes because he's gonna he's gonna bring it. You know what you're talking about tonight is I've been thinking about this because we're always thinking about inferences things i know in music and life and the who because you know they're always playing off each other at least moon was in towns and and you were telling me about the tune we're going to play now bye bye baby our our last track here that's what you guys are doing in this you were like looking at well, each other playing not like you they do nowadays yeah we uh well uh, there's a little backstory there uh mm-hmm. that i was telling you there i i I moved to Detroit in 1976 from the Ann Arbor, Ypsilanti, Michigan area. Um, and I moved just down, this is just by the grace of God, moved just down the street uh, from a bar called the Red Carpet Lounge. And- 